Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to restore your computer back to an earlier time on Windows 11. So we're going to go through the primary method I recommend doing. And then I will also cover an alternative method here too. It's a little bit more involved, but not that much more difficult, but you will have to back up some data before you do it. But generally speaking, both of these methods should be pretty straightforward. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. First thing we're going to do is just a traditional system restore, assuming you have restore points on your computer. So we're going to start off by opening up the search magnifying glass and type in system restore. Best results should come back with create a restore point or one of the best results. So again, make sure you select create a restore point. And assuming protection says on, that means we're good to go. And then we're going to select the system restore button where it says that you can undo system changes by reverting your computer to a previous restore point. Go ahead and select the system restore button here. And it says restore system files and settings. System restore can help fix problems that might be making your computer run slowly or stop responding. System restore does not affect any of your documents, pictures, or other personal data. Recently installed programs and drivers might be uninstalled. Select next. Select the most recently created restore point here, and then select next again, and then select finish. Please note that once system restore is started, it cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? Make sure you've saved and closed out of any open programs and applications, and then proceed to select the yes button. The computer will automatically restart in a couple moments here. Okay, so you can see it says system restore completed successfully. The system has been restored too, and then it'll tell us the date. Your documents have not been affected. Select close. So another problem that you may be having is with Windows updates, and perhaps that's why you need to go back to the latest major build. Or maybe you had some recent updates or some normal quality daily updates you want to revert back. That's going to be another sort of system restore I want to cover in today's tutorial as well to just be more comprehensive. And we're going to go ahead and jump into that part of this video. So also if you didn't create any restore points, this is probably where you would pick up the video. Anyway, we're going to right click on the Windows Start button, select Shut Down or Sign Out, and then hold down the Shift key on your keyboard, again S-H-I-F-T, and select Restart. So again, hold down the Shift key and then left click on Restart. 
You can release pressure on the shift key when it says please wait so you know it's already going to be booting us into the troubleshooting utilities that we're going to be needing for this part of the video. And just give it a moment here. And you want to select Troubleshoot, reset your PC or see Advanced Options. Go ahead and left click on that. And now you can go ahead and select Advanced Options again. Where it says Uninstall Updates, remove recently installed quality or feature updates from Windows. Go ahead and left click on that. So latest quality updates, these are more daily updates. Feature updates are major updates. So if you're running pretty, um, I would say, large updates that happen twice a year. So if you know that you just did a really large update, you might want to roll back to the latest feature update. If you want to do a smaller incremental restore, you would select quality update. I imagine it would also take a shorter duration of time to actually perform the uninstall if you select the quality update as opposed to feature update. So I'm just going to select the quality update just for demonstration purposes in today's tutorial. But if you're still having a problem, you can always try the feature update as well. And you can see that it says uninstall latest quality update. If you're running into problems since installing the latest quality update, uninstalling might fix them. This won't affect your personal files, apps, or settings. Go ahead and select uninstall quality update. And then give it a couple moments here. So it should say uninstall complete, select done, and then select the continue, exit and continue to Windows. So go ahead and left click on that. Okay, guys, there you go. So hopefully your issue should have been resolved at this point. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.